So, uh, how about that Teen Mom 2 episode this week, huh? Pretty wild stuff. We saw Chelsea Halska dealing with the pain of having Adam Lind as her child's father, and Kaylang Lowry going through some co-parenting issues of her own. Leah Messer got the bad news that her disabled daughter had lost her aid at school, and Brianna De Jesus was visited by a very dramatic Javi Maroqueen while healing from her plastic surgery. But even with all that going on, all anyone has been able to talk about is what went down with Jenna Levins. Because it was absolutely terrifying. In her first scene of the episode, she was seen driving Jace home after his therapy session when she started developing a bit of road rage. A man in a big white truck was driving too closely behind her, she felt, so she retaliated by going slow and not allowing him to pass her. But he managed to go around her anyway, and when he did, he pulled in front of her and slammed on his brakes. And that's when she really flipped out. She immediately called the police, but then she decided to take matters into her own hands by following the guy to his house. As she pulled up there, she took out a gun she had hidden and placed it beside her, just in case she had a chance to act like even more of a jackass. The man blocked her in so she couldn't leave, and he hit the side of her car a bit, which made her even more upset. She tried pulling around him and ended up accidentally hitting his mailbox. MTV made the decision to edit this bit out, but they did show a black screen with text explaining that she pulled out her gun then. She did manage to get away from the guy's house unscathed, but as she was driving along, she was pulled over by a police officer who wanted to talk to her about the incident. She started crying and embellishing the story to make herself sound like the victim, you know how Jenna does. And we'll have to wait until next week's episode to see the aftermath. The whole thing was pretty insane to watch, especially because the whole time, poor Jace was right next to her, clearly being traumatized. But according to a new interview from Nathan Griffey, there may be one good thing to come out of this mess. Nathan told TMZ that he feels like Jenelle's footage helps me in my situation of getting custody of Kaiser because it shows an unstable environment and a very hectic situation instead of being calm, escalating where it could be potentially more hazardous. It shows that that the child might be in danger of being in a hostile situation like that and not making sound judgment to keep the children safe. Yeah, that's pretty much Jenelle's signature move. Nathan also said that he wants to investigate further into the raw footage, which would be neat. Seriously, how great would it be if she actually faced consequences for this kind of reckless behavior? I am afraid that if she carries a loaded weapon inside a vehicle and she keeps it that accessible without a lock on it, it's very dangerous to be around children, he continued. We really don't blame Nathan one bit for being concerned. Another issue he had with the footage, he said, was that depending on the situation, that guy could have had a gun too, and it could have been an all-out brawl. Children could have been hurt. She could have been hurt, it could have been a nasty situation and bloodbath. It's actually kind of a miracle that she wasn't hurt. We know that the man she chased down did have a gun of his own, and that when he saw her following him home, he alerted his neighbors, who also had guns. He's even said that the only reason he didn't pull his gun out was that he saw Jace in the car, in the car.